In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a custom plenum box with just your basic hand tools. Let's do some work. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get the measurement of your opening, which in this case, we have 11 by 13 and a half. All right, so now that I've got the dimension of the opening, which is 11 by 13 and a half, I'm gonna make this plenum box 20 inches tall. Now for simplicity reasons, I'm going to make this box out of four pieces plus the lid, so that's actually gonna be five. Now, because I'm using hand tools, I'm going that route. If I had a four foot break or something along those lines, I could easily make all the way around out of one piece um, and then just put a lid on it and call it done. But again, this, today's video is about building a plenum box out of just hand tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this roll of sheet metal unraveled and then we're gonna get everything cut out. Okay, so I've got all four sides cut out. On the 11 inch side, I'm not gonna bend a one inch lip on this one. I'm gonna do that on the 13 and a half inch side. So what I need to, need to do now is go ahead and notch out these both corners here. I can do a nice cross break in it, and then I can go ahead and bend my one inch lips on both sides of these 13 and a halfs. Then I can cut my uh, S-lock down to size and go ahead and start assembling this box. So I just got some Malco straight cutters. These, these are called bulldogs, if I'm not mistaken, at least that's what I call them. Um, but they're a very short jaw and they're a straight cut. So um, you can cut really thick material if you want, or when you're doing stuff like this with a small jaw, it just seems to work out nice. So I'm basically just cutting out these corners. So whenever I can bend this lip one direction and bend this, this lip the other direction, obviously they won't want to fight each other. So that's prepping before you can actually bend. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out and then uh, this one's almost ready. All right, now that I've got the notches cut out on these 13 and a half inch sides, I am ready to go ahead and put some cross breaks in all four sides That'll give it some rigidity, and also whenever the, the blower turns on or off, there won't be any popping to it, because it's nice and rigid. So I'm gonna do some cross breaks on all four sides, and then I'll get all of the one inch lips bent, and we get this thing assembled. So another process on how to get a nice clean cross break like I've got here is this tool. Now I found an Instagram guy showing how to do this. Uh, his name is Michael Flynn. And I'll put his handle down below so you can go check out his Instagram page. He does some really cool stuff. But this is basically a tool that they use for uh, installing screens for your windows, right? It's got a flat head on one side and this roller on the other. Now, one thing I've noticed, you can't really do it a good job when it's on a hard surface like this. You need it to be on something that's slightly soft, like this carpet um, or, or something like that. So as you can see, this gave me a really nice, clean cross break. I'm gonna do the rest of them with this roller on the carpet. It should turn out looking really nice. All right, so I've got all the pieces with their cross breaks in them looking really good. I really, really recommend you guys going and getting this tool. It's very inexpensive. I think it was around $10 from Home Depot. I'll leave a link down in the description for you to go check it out. And thanks to Michael for showing us a really cool tool to make our jobs that much easier. So the next step is taking one piece at a time. Now, I wanna make sure the indention of the cross break, this is the outside, all right? And that's the inside. <clears throat> So I want these lips to be bent inwards. So I'm just gonna take my folding bar here. It's got a, a one inch lip on one side. That's pretty much it, put it on. Get that bent. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side now. Now, as far as this lip goes, this is what it's gonna be 
where we attach it to the air handle. So we want this to be bent outwards. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and bend that. There you go. That looks good. So now on um, the, the shorter Levin inch sides, we're not gonna be bending a one inch lip since we've already done it on the other side. So we just have the bottom lip to bend out to be able to secure it to the air handler. So we just wanna make sure we have the right orientation. This is the outside. We wanna bend this up. That looks good. And we got one more. All right. Now I just need to grab the S-lock, get those cut to size. We can start putting this thing together and cut one more piece for the lid. We're good to go. All right, so here is the S-lock that we're gonna be using for this box. If you're not familiar with S-lock, it's basically um, you could buy this at any supply house, but it's, it's in the shape of an S. So basically what I'm going to be doing is taking these two pieces and they're going to be attached like that. Now I could just put some screws in that. That's a very easy way to do it if you didn't have S lock, but I prefer to have this. It keeps everything nice and square and very, very rigid. So if you've got the S lock, go ahead and use that. If not, you could put some screws in it. No big deal. But since I've got it, I'm going to go ahead and install that. So what I'm going to do is you can measure this side of it here and it's 20 inches. Now you, you don't want to go all the way down or all the way to the top because you're going to have the top piece and you're going to have this bottom connected to the unit. So you want to give yourself about one inch on both sides. So if this is 20 inches, I'll go ahead and cut at 18. So now that I've got all four S locks cut, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling the pieces. Now there is a, an orientation that you really want to look at when it comes to this S lock. Um, the way I like to do it is basically have this lip. I want that to be on the outside, not, not underneath this piece, if that makes sense. So I'm going to flip it over to where this piece interlocks on the bottom side of this lip, because I'm going to end up putting uh, a screw in the top and the bottom just to hold everything in place. But again, I keep it about one inch from the bottom, which will also give it about one inch from the top. So you want to make sure it's locked all the way in. All right, so now that I've got it all the way in, it's pretty secure, right? And we can make sure that it lines, everything lines up by putting it on a flat surface and pushing down. So one thing you can do to make sure that when your lid goes in, your screw doesn't get in the way, you can go ahead and put a screw in the S lock and just make sure it goes all the way through and you won't have to worry about anything getting in your way. All right, so I'm going to grab the other two pieces and get those put together. All right, so now that I've got both S locks on this piece, I'm going to go ahead and get this attached. I'm going to start from the bottom this time. Uh, and if one, one tip here is if, if the S lock is a little hard to, to work with and the corners are maybe pinched in from cutting it, just take you a flathead screwdriver and get it in there and just twist open that corner. And that'll really help you get it started. All right, there is our second half. 
might be easier to lay it down like so. Try not to get your gloves pinched in there. Just make sure everything is nice and square. Let's get some screws put in it. I like to look down inside the duct to make sure that S-lock is being uh, pinched all the way tight. There we go. So we got all four sides connected. Everything is super solid. So now we just need to make, uh, make our measurement for our lid just to make sure it's good to go. Um, go ahead and get our S locks cut. So for all four sides, put that in, secure it, we're good to go. So when we're dealing with putting a lid on top of a box like this, what I like to do is whenever I make this, I'm gonna have a one inch lip turned down all the way around to go into this S lock. I don't want it to be on the inside of this metal. I want it to be on the outside. That's gonna help me install it a whole lot easier. So again, looking at the orientation of your S-lock, you wanna make sure when you're putting it on that the receiving side of it is on the outside, not the inside. So once you take a look at some S-lock, you can really see what I'm talking about there. But that's what I wanna make sure when I'm installing this, Yep, that's on the outside. So start your corner in, push it in, work your way up to the other side. There we go. Nice and solid. That's one thing that S-Lock will do for you as well. It'll make the metal nice and straight for you so it's not kind of waving a little bit. So as you can see, everything is nice and squared up now. Now I'm gonna take the measurement for this lid. Now that everything's nice and square and lined up, uh, I'll have a nice true measurement. So I'll go ahead and get that cut out now and we can get this thing installed. Okay, so now that I've got the lid cut out to its full dimension, I just need to cut out each corner and um, do a cross break just like I did before, bend all the one inch lips and get this thing installed. All right, so there's a nice clean cross break. Got all the corners notched out. So I am good to get this thing bent into place. So I'm just going to work my way around. Leave the shortest one last. What I like to do is take all the corners and just slightly bend them outwards a little bit. That's going to make it a lot easier to install it. Man, looks good. All right, so the way I like to do it is start on one of the shorter ends and then uh, work my way and close it down. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the, this short side in, get my uh, side pieces started here. Just like so. 
and just work it in. Make sure it attaches to this last piece here. Looks like we're good. All right, so that's all the screws. Now I'll just flip it over, kind of inspect everything. Look at all the S locks down at the bottom. Make sure they're pinched really tight. Everything looks good. Okay guys, that's my process on how I custom make a plenum box one piece at a time. I really hope you guys got something out of this video. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Now if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you guys later.